not prepared to see the beauty of Ram. And that's why, you know, my Prabhupada is today, you know, even if Krishna comes in front of you, aap kya ukhaar loge? What you will do? Because you don't have love, you don't understand, you don't appreciate. Bole, kya hi mor, kis ko ne ye pehna hua? Ye bhagwan kaisa imitate kar raha hai? People might doubt, original Krishna also, and Duryodhana doubted it. When he showed universal form, he said, kya jadu dikha raha hai? Mujhe jadu dikha raha hai? <laughs> that was the attitude of Duryodhan. So exactly Shri Pranaka followed the same path. She was so attracted to beauty of Ram and she changed her form. She took a beautiful form of Apsara and she came. And she proposed Lord Ram directly. I am the sister of Lankesh Ravan. You know who is Ravan? And she glorified Ravan like anything. I am his sister. And he has gifted me the entire Dandakaranya. So Dandakaranya was a huge area, starting from MP, covering Maharashtra and going to Karnataka also. So it's a huge forest. He said, this forest is gifted to my, my brother, by my brother. Raksha Bandhan ki din hoga. And she said, I am the queen, I am the dictator, I am the boss here. And everything comes under my control over here. So please come. We will go to the divine valleys and forest of this uh, Dandakaranya and we will enjoy together. This was the first proposal of living relationship. There was no marriage, nothing was there but she knows. That was the Langa culture. And now see, we know Lord Ram's name is what? Leela Purushottam and Maryada Purushottam. Now see, Ram is so... Maryada wale na bot. Matlab, he, you see, the, the culture was so high that uh, when uh, Sita was abducted by Ravan and uh, at the place of Hampi, when Sugriva showed the ornaments of Sita to Ram and Lakshman, I, I saw one lady, she threw this ornament, is this belongs to Sita? So Ram was so happy, he started to cry, yes, yes, this belongs to Sita, he, he showed to Lakshman. I was, you see, you see, these are the Kayurs of Mother Sita, these are the Kundals of Mother Sita. These are the Nupur of Mother Sita, anklets of Mother Sita. So you know what answer Lakshman gave? Kyayuram naiva janami, naiva janami kundale, Nupuram tveva janami, nityam padavi vandana. So we are talking about Maryada Purushottam. So what was the attitude of Lakshman? He said, Kyayuram naiva janami. I don't know Kyayur. Kyayur, they know they wear here armbands. Kyayuram naiva janami, naiva janami kundale. I don't know earrings also. Nupuram to eva janami nityam padabhi vanna but I know Nupur because every day I used to offer my obeisance to the feet of Mother Sita he never used to look on the face of Mother Sita he was having so much respect for Mother Sita that was the culture of Ayodhya and here Sri Prakash coming out of out of view out of the view and saying come for honeymoon <laughs> can you imagine what Lord Ram might have thought because his incarnation is Maryada Purushottam to set etiquettes, to set standards, to set uh, the mannerism, Aryan civilization. And here she is coming <laughs> and directly proposing in front of younger brother. Ram thought, you know, I will not talk with this nonsense. So he just, you know, indicated Lakshman, you give whatever, you know, information she wanted. So Lakshman said, uh, my dear lady, uh, he is my elder brother Sri Ram, belongs to Ikshvaku race of Surya Bamshi. I am his younger brother Lakshman. And she is the wife, she is the wife, to indicate that he is already married and he is not interested. Sita, and we are here in exile because of uh, our stepmother, <coughs> everything he explained very innocently. Then she thought, you know, both these brothers, uh, uh, the Ram is not accepting me, so uh, she said, you know, uh, she, she, then, then she took her original form to impress. She thought, I will impress. The Rakshasi form, she took the original form of uh, herself. And then when Ram, Ram saw that, Ram understood her intention. He said, see, uh, I am already married. I have my own wife here. But my younger brother, he is alone here without wife. So better ask him. So if he says yes, you be with Lakshman. So she said, okay, if you thought you, then I will go to your brother. So he went to, she went to Lakshman. And Lakshman understood that we are doing <laughs> so Lakshman said, see my dear lady, I can accept you, no doubt I am alone here and you are such a from great family, you belong to such a powerful lady, I will be very happy to be with you. But the problem is what, I am the servant of my elder brother. If you become my consort, you have to serve Sita. You will become her dasi. Is it good for you? 
He said, no, this is not good for me. So better you ask, you know, my elder brother. So now Sita, the, 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 the Shurbaka became very angry. And she thought, both of these brothers, they are rejecting me because of this lady Sita. So I will eat her and I will enjoy with both. And as soon as she ran towards Sita to eat her there, Ram said, now Lakshman, this is a little bit more. You don't have to do Rakshasa with Rakshasa. This is very important. Part. He instructs that we can't make fun with Rakshasa. So you better punish her and just chase her away. So immediately Lakshman took out you know, his uh, sword and he cut off the nose and ears of Shurupana. So nose fell to that side of the river, that's why it became, it became Nasika or Nasik. So this side of Godavari is Panchavati and that side is Nasik is called Nasik. So Shurupanaka was very angry. No one in her entire life could have dared to touch her nose. Naak kaad di na, ye kahawat kap se hai bata hai, naak kaad di usne mein. Ye tap se, Ramayana ye kahawat Ramayana se. Ijjat kaad na, naak kaad na, ye izzat kaad diya mera. Ramayana ka izzat kaad diya. So Shurupanaka became very angry and she went to Khar Dushan and Trishir. Now Khar Dushan were the brothers of cousins of Ravan. And Trishir was their Senapati, commander in chief and they had the an, uh, army of 14,000 Asuras. And they were like SPG commandos, you know, we have uh, this uh, uh, Maroon Cap, special forces, para SF. So like that, these 14,000 Asuras were the, the best trained military officials of Ravan. And they were so powerful that they used to conquer Indra, Indra used to fear them, the Kubera used to fear them, everyone used to fear them. They were so powerful. And they were given as a gift to Shurpanaka. You rule. Why so much love? Why so much pampering by her brother? Ideally in our Vedic culture, there is no independence to woman, na? Mandodari was never given this facility. Although she was a concert queen. So why only Shurpanaka? Because the happened, the actually happened what? Once Ravan went to Patal Loka to fight. <coughs> and he was so mad and he was in so much rage while fighting that while fighting he killed Shurpanaka's husband, Vidyut Jiva, uska naam tha. Usko kaad diya usko. He used to become so mad while fighting. And later he realized that I have made my wife a So after the fight when he came back to Lanka, Shurpanaka was crying like anything. So Ravan knew the weakness of Shurpanaka. He said, one of the children of the mother, he saw her from childhood. So he said, sister, you don't worry. Your brother is alive. I will take care of you everything. I give you the entire Dandakarande forest. I give you Khar, Dushan, Trishir and entire 14,000 best well-armed army. And with that, I give you full independence. Whatever you want to do, do. No restriction from myself. Everything belongs to you. Shurupanaka was so happy. Achha, wo mera pati mar gaya. <laughs> that was her. <laughs> and here she went to Khar Dushan and Khar Dushan Tishir, they came with the entire 14,000 Asuras. As soon as, as soon as you know, when they, they started to come towards the place of Sri Ram, because they were having all these there, you know, army and having their, you know, carriers like tigers and lions and owls and, you know, all these kind of different, different, you know, chariots they were having. So, entire forest started to shake, Dandakar and Panchur started to shake. All the birds, animals started to flee, run away, fly everywhere. And then Ram understood something is going to happen because the reaction of this act will come upon us. So immediately said to Lakshman, you take Sita to the safe place. You protect her, I will take care of this, all the Asuras and all the uh, army of Rakshasas. And the place where Sita was kept is Sita Gupa. You went inside, the Panchavati fight trees are there, and there is a Sita Gupa inside, a small cave is there. So it's a symbolic place, of course, it's not uh, the exact place. So there Sita was uh, kept uh, safely, and then Lord Ram went to fight. As soon as you know all these asuras, they came, Khardushan, Tishir, they came and they saw Lord Ram, he was standing on a feet, he was not uh, having a you know, chariot or any carrier or anything like that. As soon as they all saw the beauty of Sri Ram, they said, stop, 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 don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. And they said, you know, we should not kill this person, he's so, he's so beautiful to see. We will capture him and we will put him in a cage and every day we will play with him and I will see him. This is the beauty of Ram, anyone who sees Ram, even enemies and you know the Rakshas also, they fall. Can you imagine all the sages of Dandakar? Now you know Munichari Gopi, you know in Rasila there is a Munichari Gopis. There are very different, different sects of Gopis in Rasila. So who are the Munichari Gopis? The Munichari Gopis were the sages of Dandakar and 
when they saw lord ram and sita they thought you know we should also serve lord ram like sita in the mood of madhurya rasa so they all requested sir to pray please ram please give us that chance please they said sorry in this incarnation ek patni prat and no <laughs> going beyond the limitations so next incarnation when i will come as a krishna you will come as a munichari gopi you come to vrindavan and then join my rasa so that was even the great sages they were celibate monks for lakhs and lakhs and lakhs of years but when they see the beauty of shri ram they says you know we want to serve you know this beauty that is the attraction attractive feature of the beauty of shri same way chaitanya mahaprabhu also first weapon of mahaprabhu knowledge is second weapon kirtan is second weapon first weapon is his beauty just by seeing his beauty everyone is to fell flat so uh, when all these rakshasas were ram lord ram thought you know, he was so happy to fight after very long years he was supposed to fight with you know, some good group a real group where he is going to start his fight against ravan head on fight against ravan this was the opening of that and he said they are glorifying my beauty so he became angry angry and we know kshatriyas before fight you know they use abusive words you know they use all these you know gali galoch karte hai to thoda ladne mein maza aata hai so lord ram started to chastise them apne maa ka doodh nahi piya hai ke tumne ladne ke liye mujhe dekhne ke liye as soon as they heard you know this language of ram they said ye this is the nonsense we should finish him off you know kill him immediately so all became very angry and they all started fight together now can you imagine 14000 highly armed powerful asuras against one human ram as a human being he never showed any magic only one place one place without any uh, chariot standing there and all 14000 from all four sides they are attacking him all with uh, all their weapons so ram was so expert this was the first place where ram was showing expert in fight before that there was never chance there was only khardush uh, there was only uh, this strataka and mari subhav they were like you know one one arrow finished then they had this asura what was his name kabanda a single asura they just slashed off the arms but ram is a archer and this is the first place where he was showing his actual expert in archer so he was so fast to dodge the attacks of the weapon, uh, enemies and attack them with his arrows that it was like he was like dancing on the stage you see the classical dancers when they they dance on the stage it was so fast and you know they are uh, so expert in the movements of their legs so he was running like that dancing like that and dodging all the weapons and his arrows were so sharp and were so fast that just like you know when uh, uh, we do sometimes aarti with agarbatti and you know uh, agarbatti we when do it fast we see red circle so ram was so fast with his arrows that you know when he was taking out his arrows and when he was pressing on the bow no one could able to see his hand only the circle was seen that was his speed <laughs> and the arrows were flying everywhere and they were so accurate they were so sharp that if out of fear some demon is hiding behind the tree the arrow used to pierce the tree then used to pierce that asura then go to next place kill that asura then going to the elephant killing that elephant of that asura and taking one more asura panitika bhi sometimes so one one arrow is to you know many and all this 14000 asuras he finish within 46 minutes one murta 48 minutes within one murta he killed entire 14000 asuras and that's why this place is called kalaram it's not kalaram it's a kalaram kal means time factor from here he is going to start his destruction of ravan and his other one and that's why you see you, you took the darshan of kalaram mandir mm. what is the posture of shri ram there yeah. yeah one hand is on the chest and one hand is pointing towards feet and even who take the shelter of my feet i personally protect that person so abhay mudra and even who offer sharanagati to shri ram he said i will personally protect her take shelter of my feet i will protect her. what was the posture of sita remember one hand towards feet wait both hands are like this because they are staying as a grahastha here the hermit she is always giving bhiksha to sadhus ravana came here na she he knew that she never rejects her even when sadhu comes for bhiksha so she is always giving alms who sages and saints in nandagarinda and lakshman if you see lakshman you know in one hand he has bow 
and one hand he is offering chamar seva to ram so these are the sita ram lakshman in the kala ram mandir <coughs> so lord ram you know fully bleeding entire body was bleeding so many wounds on the body because of the fight and to see this fight entire devatas and rishi muni they were there in the sky watching how lord ram will start destruction of ravan and when they saw everyone started you know pouring down flowers and raining down flowers and you know beating their uh, kettle drums and their dundubi whatever you know celestial uh, musical instruments they started to dance there started to chant vedic mantras for the glorification of shri ram and then ram came and sita came he re- she received she offered aarti uh, and then so this news reached to lanka you know who 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 sent this news to lanka no before that akampan only once uh, one asura survived akampan he went to lanka and said to ravan ye what happened you know entire khar dushan your brother and entire tishir and all these uh, rakshasas were destroyed by one human being so ravan was very angry how come this happened this is insult to me my sister was insulted this is insult to me his ego was completely tempered up immediately he went to marich marich was his maternal uncle mama ji the marich bola chal puran jana hai apne ko ram ko khatam karna hai जैसे मारिश ने राम का नाम सुना मारिश राइटेड टू पी एक्चुअली यू नो बिकॉज व्हाट हैपन व्हेन राम वॉज चाइल्ड विश्वामित्र मुनि के यू नो द स्टोरी एंड ही सेड यू नो आई वांट टू परफॉर्म माय सिक्स डे यज्ञ एंड असुरास कम्स फाइनल डे बिफोर आहुति एंड ए डिस्टर्ब माय एंटर यज्ञ सो टू प्रोटेक्ट दैट यज्ञ आई नीड राम सो दस सेड हु इज डिस्टर्बिंग यूर यज्ञ आई विल टेक केयर ही सेड त्राटका मारिश एंड सुबाउ the associates of ravan as soon as dashrath maharaj you heard the names of trataka maharaj who said please don't take my ram i will come with my entire force all the akshavani senas we will get killed by them radha madan gopal bhagwan ki so uh, he said i will go i will die there on the battlefield but my ram is just 15 years old he has just finished his 15 years and 16th year and his education is not yet completed of dhanurved how can you want to stand lord ram in front of all these asuras these are powerful asuras vishamitra was very angry then vasishta he somehow rather you know uh, console and he said no please ram is very special send him he will do everything the needful and vishamitra muni will protect ram so then dashrath said okay you go and there ram he killed trataka first we know in krishna lila ladies first putana ram lila also ladies first trataka then he killed subahu the both were the sons of trataka and marich lord ram knew that iska kaam padne wala hai baad mein so by using his manav astra he kicked marich to the distance of 800 miles 100 yojana and that's why some says that the mauritius is the place where marich fell there so by with that one arrow marich understood that you know this 15 year old kid is very dangerous and from that day onwards he took sanyas <laughs> little sanyas he stopped eating non veg he was asura he used to eat all the animals and sages and from that day onwards he became shakahari no more sin he became a, 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 a monk and he was staying out outskirts of lanka in the jungles <coughs> just doing advaitvadi of course doing meditation and living peacefully and from anywhere is to see even even he used to hear <coughs> ra of rat he used to fear he used to shake <laughs> he used to get sleepless nights <laughs> that was the fear of ram so when ravan came and ravan said let's go we have to finish ram as soon as he heard that he said ravan tere dimag mein bheja nahi hai you know you are taking panga with ram it's impossible i know what that when he was 15 year old what he did you know and because of him i, I took sanyas although i am your maternal uncle i am here you know in seclusion and you know i'm just fearing he should not come here and kill me and you want to fight with that ram now he's grown up man and you know that within one murta he killed your entire 14000 asuras single handedly and still you want to fight with राम बोला ठीक बात कर रहा है यार ये गलत बात नहीं कर रहा एंड रावण न्यू दैट यू नो आई कैन बी किल्ड ओनली बाय मंकीज एंड ह्यूमंस सो वो भी टेंशन में आ गया कि यार कुछ तो पंगा देवता ने कुछ तो पंगा किया मेरे साथ सो ही बिकेम साइलेंट ही केम बैक ओके नो प्रॉब्लम आई विल आई विल बी ही ही टुक द इंस्ट्रक्शन वेरी सीरियसली ऑफ मारिज 
देन शुरबड़ा था फिर शुरबड़ा का अंडरस्टूड यू नो मेरा भाई जो है ना बेईमान है बहन का नाक काटा बदला नहीं ले रहा है सो शी न्यू द वीकनेस ऑफ रावण सो शी वेंट देर एंड शी सेड राम रावण भैया आई वेंट देर टू हैव माई भाभी आपके लिए मैं मेरी भाभी लेने के लिए गई थी एंड देन शेड टू डिस्क्राइब ऑल द फिजिकल ब्यूटी ऑफ सीता because she knew this is the weakness of ravan and ravan will act upon only on this otherwise he will not act and she incited the lust within ravan then ravan said badla lena hai lekin badle ke piche reason kya tha lust then he went to marich and said if you don't accept my proposal i will kill you here immediately so marich said theek hai agar marna hai thoda late marenge abhi kyun marna then they came here they uh, the marish took the form of uh, golden deer some or other sita was attracted to that deer and then uh, marish took ram deep inside the forest and then as soon as lord understood that he is uh, asura marish when he shot that arrow and that arrow was pierced this is a place uh, uh, it's 40 kilometers from here uh, nandur badameshwar where, where this happened so in the voice of ram uh, marish he cried oh lakshmana sita please help please help Sita was very perturbed. Something had happened with my my husband. So she said to Lakshman, "Go immediately, protect your brother, help him out. He needs your help." So she said, "No one can destroy Ram. He is the most powerful." Sita became all the more angry. She said, "No, you have to go immediately." She said, "No, I will not go. My brother instructed me to protect you. I can't leave." And then here, Sita she assassinated the character of Lakshman. You know this story. She said, I, "We know why you are waiting here just to see the death of your brother, and then you will exploit me." As soon as Lakshman heard this, can you imagine the character of Lakshman? We know that shloka, that always every day is to see the feet of Mother Sita and stop her obeisances. He started to cry hot tears of pain, and he said, "I will go. I don't know what will happen here when we will come back, but because you wanted me to go, you are taking allegation on my character. I can't be here." And then when he was he was crying, he was going deep inside. Ram understood the plan of Ram Asuras. and he started to run fast towards pandaguti and in the middle of forest he saw lakshman crying and coming inside the forest he became all the more angry he said i told you not to leave sita how come you are leaving her alone in pandaguti and coming to the forest lakshman was already in depression what he heard before from <laughs> his wife of his elder brother she destroyed or doubted his character So Lakshman said, "You know what she said? She said I am waiting to see the death of my brother. You and wanted to. She is a nonsense. She is a foolish. She is a sentimental. How come you are so foolish? You have sent me what? These are the words of Ram. And this is called epic interest, uh, epic uh, insult of the human being. When your competence is doubted by brother and character is doubted by Bab Sita." अगर हम होते ना भाड़ में गए मेरा भा, भाई और मेरी भाभी चौदह साल से दिन रात मेहनत कर रहा हो यहाँ पे तुम्हारे घर के सब बर्तन काम मई देख रहा हो तुम्हारे लिए घर बांध के देता हूँ मेरी बीवी को छोड़ के मैं यहाँ पे तुम दोनों वाले मेरे को नहीं कर रहा सेवा मुझे मिटा रहा हो इज इट नॉट द केस वेन यू हैव योर इंटेंशन वेन यूर डेडिकेशन इज हंड्रेड एंड वन परसेंट वेन यू हैव एवरी थिंग यू ऑफर टू द सर्विस ऑफ सीता एंड राम एंड बोथ ऑफ देम कम्बाइन टू गेदर तुम्हारा बैंड बजा रहे Lakshman understood. He understood that Sita, she is speaking such kind of words because of her love for Ram. She is in anxiety, and Ram is using this kind of words because he is in anxiety. Something should not happen to Sita. So, is out of spontaneous love for each other and their sentiments each other, is the frustration is coming out like this. This is how matter we should take. And when they came to Parana, <coughs> Ravan had already came. and she had he had taken sita to uh, lanka so all these episodes happened in panchavati this area of nasik it's a very holy place and uh, ramkund is the place where kumbh mela takes place every 12 years and lord ram is to take bath over there uh, every day the sita kund also lakshman kund also together so this all the and the nose cutting of shurpraka happened in the pavan you visited the pavan there so there shurpraka's nose was cut down by lakshman uh, and lakshman is a adi guru he never leave his services whatever happens we see lakshman indrajit had this boon 
that anyone who will practice 14 years of celibacy now what is the meaning of celibacy brahmacharya brahmacharya is of eight kinds if you know that forget about physical even talking with the woman even thinking about the woman is also considered break of brahmacharya <coughs> So that is the standard of Brahmacharya. And Lakshman could that do that. Fourteen years he was alone, and he only saw the lotus feet of Sita, and they never used to talk directly. So by Brahmacharya, following by words, by mind and by body, and that vow Lakshman ji as the Adi Guru he completed in the service of Sita Ram. That's why he could able to kill Indra ji. Indrajit had this blessing that anyone who will practice 14 years of Brahma, and some says that anyone who has not slept for 14 years also, he will able to do. So Lakshman ji comes in that category. A guru is always fully dedicated in the service of the law, and that's why when we pray to Lakshman ji, that make us good servant unto the feet of our Guru Dev, spiritual masters, and Gauranga Mahapu or Shri Shri Radha Madan Gupta, Radha Brindavan Chandra. Okay. So that's why this place is this place belongs to Lakshman. Physically, he had. How he balanced the emotions of both Sita and Ram, because we know the story when Ram and Lakshman came back to Parnakuti, Sita was not there, and Ram cried. He became mad man. Just by remembering Sita, Lord Ram used to get fainted. Can you imagine? He used to get unconscious. He used to he he was talking to the trees in Panchamuti. Where is my Sita? Have you seen? He was talking to Godavari River. Where is my Sita? He is talking to the birds and animals and 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 the deer. That where is my Sita? And he was embracing them. Please tell me, crying and again feeling unconscious. And Lakshmanji was there to console, to guide, counsel, everything support whatever Ram needed. He was there to do. And that's why we pray to Lakshmanji as Adi Guru that make us. A genuine servant in the service of Guru and Gaurav. So all these past time places happened here at Panchavati, the five butter bhikshas, the Kalaram Mandir, the Pavan, and the Godavari River, and one place the Dham Raksha here is Kapaleshwar Mahadev. So have you seen the Kapaleshwar Mahadev? So Kapaleshwar Mahadev is the main Shankar Mahadev here. Uh, the story comes in uh, Puranas that uh, we our Brahma ji first had five mouths, five heads. And with four heads, he was chanting the four Vedas, and with one head, he was criticizing the creation of Vishnu, because we know this. This is made Dukkhalama Shashvatam. And Brahma ji has seen the spiritual world also, so he was criticizing the criticizing the creation of Vishnu. That so many faults are here. So Shiva ji was very angry that you can't criticize anything of Krishna. He is perfect. He is complete. Purna Madha, Purna Madha. And in anger, he cut off with his trusil one of the head of Brahma ji. And he got a sin of Brahma Hatya, killing the uh, Brahman. Brahma ji is the first Brahman. So that head of Brahma ji stuck to the Trishula. Uh, anywhere Shiv ji used to go, that head used to be there in the Trishula. So can you imagine that आपने कुछ अगर बहुत गड़ी गलती की मंदिर में और आपके यहाँ पे छाप के आपके गुर्दे के ऊपर छाप दिया है, इसने महाप्रसाद चोरी किया. Anywhere you went, any program, any meeting, you know, it is always there. This is the punishment you have, you know, back and front, from half a shot chore. <laughs> so Shivji used to go everywhere, and there was this Kapal, the head of Brahma, stuck to the Trishula. So Shivji, he went to all the Hindu Tirthas of entire Brahmanda. He tried everywhere, took all the baths, did all the rituals, but Brahma Hatya was not going away. That head was stuck to that. So after you know roaming entire worlds and you know going to all the planets, after getting so much depressed and you know so much exhausted, he came to the village called Govardhan. This is 10 kilometers from here, and he was resting in a cow shed. So he was resting there because he thought cow shed is the place uh, place where you know I will be more uh, happy and content. So he was taking rest night there, and he heard because he is a Mahadev, he knows the languages of all the animals and birds. So he heard the conversation between the bull and the mother cow. So bull was telling when tomorrow the owner of flowers will come uh, because you know when you are in the field, what do they do? They put a rasti in the field. So it's very painful for the bull. And uh, the bull was saying that tomorrow he will come, and that master was very cruel. He used to beat always the cow also and the bull also. He used to mistreat them like anything. So if tomorrow he comes and if he mistreats me, I will kill that person. So cow said he is a brahman. You should not kill a brahman. He said no. I know the place. When you take the shelter of that place, you get relieved from the brahmanatya. तो शिवजी वो समय रहते रेस्टिंग एंड हियरिंग क्या आधी नींद में होते हैं हम सुनते हैं किसे 
as soon as I saw the place where Brahma was, he was, you know, like stark awake. He was just sweating. What will happen next day tomorrow morning? And that uh, the owner came and you know started to beat the cow and then that bull also and the bull became very angry and he just so अपने सिंगों से उड़ा दिया वो और वो एक स्ट्रोक में that person died there on the spot so that bull the white bull became a blackish one because of that Brahmatya so that bull started to run away from that place so Lord Shiva was seeing everything so he started to follow <laughs> so he was very excited now what will happen what will happen and that bull came to the Ram Ghat Ram Kund. And he jumped inside. He took three dips in the water. And when he came out from that Ramkund, the heavenly plane came with the Upadevatas and Apsaras. They performed Arti of that bull. He got the heavenly body. They danced for him. They chanted, you know, Sosti Mantra for him. And they took him to the heavens. So Lord Shiva, this is good place. I, I, I can believe this place. So then Lord Shiva with his Trishul, he jumped inside. He took three dips. When he came out with his Trishul, the Kapal, that, that uh, Brahma's head was gone. He was very relieved. He was very fresh, free from stress, free from anxiety. He understood that scene has gone away now. But when he came out, there was no one to receive him. So as Mahadev, you know, is Rudra, Ashutosh, she became very angry. ये बुल के लिए इतना बड़ा खरी करके गए क्या है ये मैं महादेव हूँ पूरे सृष्टि का संवार में करता हूँ and when I am free from my all sins and coming, there is no one to welcome. He became so angry because of his anger, entire Brahman started to shake. All the heavenly planets, AC बंद हो गया वहाँ का, वो गर्मी बढ़ गई वहाँ। All the devatas were in tension. How come this can happen? How can you know the suddenly the temperature is shot up so high? So they asked Brahmaspati what happened. Brahmaspati said, you know, you have done something wrong with Mahadev. Go to Mahadev. So they very much. He is at Ramkund waiting for. Some more other, you know, all with folded hands, they came to Ramkund and they said, why you are so angry, sir? Lord Shiva said, अरे one for one bull. You send one plane with the Upadevatas, with Apsaras, doing Arati of that bull, giving his heavenly body, taking him there, glorifying him, chanting Rosti Mantra. And for me, he said, please, and now they want some excuse, na? They said, actually we didn't come. Why? Because we wanted one eyewitness. Koi sakshi jaiye, those, who, the, the person who will tell the importance of this place. Agar aap heaven mein aapko leke jate hai, to yaha ka mahat mein koon bata tha? So you please stay here and tell people this is the place where you get relieved from all your sins and you can start your bhakti down there. Yesha mandagatam papam jananam unya garmanam. When your sins are over, then actually bhakti starts. So, see, okay, good reason, good reason. And from then onwards, you see Kapaleshwar Mahadev is sitting there. And this is the only place where there is no nandi. Yes? Why? Because to bull he accepted as chikshagu. Because he taught the way how to get relieved from Brahman. So he didn't give him the place as a vahan, but as a shikshagu. That's why Nandi is not there in front of Kaparishwara. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Rama. And Mahaprabhu visited this place. He did Kirtan over here. Nityanandu came here. Advaita Acharya also came here. Shri Prabhupada came here. He stayed here for uh, Parikrama and Dham Darshan. For Gaudiya Vishnamas, wherever Mahaprabhu has been for us, that place is very place. And Lord Ram has stayed more than two and a half year here. And all this past time happened. Thank you all very much. Hare Krishna. Jai Shri Ram. Any questions anybody else? I don't know if you remember this, sir. All many, many things in Gautam is seen. So this Tanda is the original Tanda or older than this? Yeah. Yeah, when you are planning to visit Trambakishwar? Tomorrow you are not going there? Tomorrow. Tomorrow you are going there? Yeah, because you are flexible, you have travelers. So tomorrow you have whole day here or you are whole day? We have to do. Okay. You can come. I will be busy, tomorrow is my dressing also. So if you want some devotee, I will just see some devotee comes to you to show you the place there. So Katha we will... Sure, yeah, so we'll be prepared to visit that place. So I have been in the end, but Katha has been confused. So we have two Gangas. One is Bhagirathi Ganga, as we know, flows in Calcutta, and we have Gautami Ganga. The Ganga bought by Bhagirathi Maharaj, Bhagirath Maharaj, and here, Gautam Rishi. So this is called Gautami Ganga or Vridha Ganga. So this Ganga is before our Bhagirathi Ganga. So the story comes that at Satya Yuga, beginning of Satya Yuga, uh, Mandata Raja was ruling, the king Mandata was ruling uh, this planet and that time there was a great drought. There was no 
rain for 12 years complete scarcity of water and there was no food there was no grains there was no uh, people were dying hungry so gautam ji was staying his ashram was there at brahmagiri close to brahmagiri so he was such a powerful you know siddha we say he was such a siddha person that whatever he used to sow in the morning by 12 noon after his gayatri that seed used to become a crop and he used to get all the grains and whatever he needed that was his power and we know that you know ganga ji always resides in the jata of lord shiva so uh, some puranas padma puran uh, there are some variations but padma puran tells the story that parvati was not happy that how come ganga other wife other woman should sitting on the top of my husband no one like it. so this was the external reason internal reason was that she wanted ganga to come on planet earth so people should get relieved from all their miseries and sins and start the krishna consciousness so she was she was requesting mahadev that please uh, relieve ganga please allow ganga and mahadev was not ready he was so fixed that i want ganga on my head he was having that love for ganga so uh, parvati her maid servant jaya and ganesh they hatched one plan to bring ganga down on planet earth so what they did they they, they made survey that who is the capable person to able to complete this task so they saw that gautam rishi is that person who can able to help us down. so they had one plan so what jaya did the maid servant of parvati she took the form of a weak very uh, weak and you know very uh, feeble cow is related to drought or yeah drought that time only that time drought is going on going on is providing food to, food to everyone yeah because gautam rishi had that crop so every, all the rishi muni suggested this to come there for bandar and uh, meanwhile it is happening there in kailash all these episodes that please ganga do you allow ganga to come down allow to come down but some other shiva lord shiva yeah nothing so they had this plan so jaya took the form of uh, a cow and before gautam rishi used to come to take the crops she used to graze entire field she alone used to eat all the crops you know whatever was existing there so gautam rishi came said are har itne samay se to main jo bhi beej bo raha hu sab aata hai ये आज पूरा खेत खा लिया किसे सो नेक्स्ट डे ही स्टेड देर एंड ही सॉ दैट यू नो हाउ कम हु इज डूइंग दिस बिकॉज इफ द ग्रेन इज नॉट देर देर इज नो भंडारा देन देर इज नो फूड देन फॉर एनी वन देर फास्टिंग ऑल द गेस्ट ऑल द रिश्मी देर कमिंग विद देर फैमिली देर वॉज नो फूड फॉर देन सो नेक्स्ट डे ही वॉच शी सॉ दैट दिस काउ इज कमिंग एंड शी इज स्लोली स्लोली सो वीक वेरी फीबल काउ शी इज ईटिंग एंटायर फील्ड ह्यूज फील्ड्स सो ये थॉट है गो है गो सेवा होनी चाहिए सो ही सेट लेट हरी third day also we came same thing happened he became very disturbed that you know this cow is not normal life because she is eating every day entire crop entire fields she is eating so fourth day some or other he could not able to control it and all the rishis used to have kusha grass the bundle of kusha grass with them for the pujas and all the rituals so that he that was there in his hand and just to chase away that cow we said hut hut you know we come we, we do that so as soon as that kusha grass touch that cow she died there on the spot <laughs> so ganesh ji was in the plan he was a cowherd of that cow so jaise ganesh ji ne dekha as a cowherd boy he started to cry meri gai mar gayi meri gai ko maar diya ye gautam rishi ne ko hatya kar diya he made whole scene there he brought all the rishi muni and all the sages and brahmanas there and come come what happened you see sapta rishi mein se ek hai na gautam rishi such a great dharma dharma guru such a great you know exalted sage killing cow now this place is impure this person is impure anyone who will stay here all impure they will share the scene of cow killing all the sages were you know we know in our in now also hindu religion go hatya means the worst of worst sin so all started to fear that you know if we stayed here and we have any contact with gautam rishi khalas we will also have the scene of Brahma, uh, the cow killing so everyone were one they said no we will not stay in this place we be uh, bahishkrit karte we orchestrate this gautam rishi will not stay with him we will not keep any contact with him and we don't want to do anything with them he has to take atonement what uh, gautam rishi what atonement please tell me what atonement is there so all they started to say are you should do that you should ganesh ji as a coward boy said wait wait this cow belongs to who me i know i know all the very shastras because ganesh ji is the devata buddhi na so he quoted all the vedas he quoted all the shastras he said If some or other Ganga jal comes and touch this cow, this cow will come back to life. This place will become purified. And if Gautam Shri take the bath in that Ganga jal, he will be purified. Then you can all stay here, and then everything will be all as as before. 
Everybody said, oh, yes, yes. Ganesh, yes, yes, you are very good person. Every of you, yes, yes, please go ahead, please go ahead. So they, what should I do? Mahadev ji, unke paas ganga bhaji bhaji. Pucho unko Mahadev ji. So uh, that then on the Brahmagiri hill, uh, 60,000 years Gautam Rishi did excruciating penances. He did all the penances to please Mahadev and Lord Shiva was so pleased with his uh, austerity. He said, what do you want? He said, I want Ganga. And uh, then some says that Ganga was not ready to come down. Because, why are you calling me? Why are you calling me? Why are you calling me? Can you imagine? Ganga Ji is the highest in all the tears. Who is calling me? Cow killing me. You know, I don't want to come for this reason. So Shivji was very angry. So if you go to Brahmagiri Mountain, there is a Jata Mandir is there. Yeah, on top of hill. So Lord Shiva, he, you know, his whole jata was out of it. And he dashed all the jatas on the mountain. So there's a mark of jata there. That's why the jata mandir is there. They say there's water also there. Yeah, some water is there, they say. So now it's a very mysterious story. Gautami Ganga is very mysterious. It's not like, you know, see the river is flowing like that, thing like that. So she disappeared from there. And then there is a gomukh called, this is called Ganga Dwar. Uh, there is a Gomuk, from there she comes. Again she disappeared from there. So Gautam Shri said, Ganga is coming, I don't know where I am. So the guy who gave the Ganga, the guy who gave the Ganga, she came back to life. So that place was purified. So Gautam Shri said, where should I take bath? Now Gautam Shri Ganga went deep inside to the uh, nether regions. So with his Kusha, he created one Kunda. And that is called Kusha Varth Kunda. If you go to Tramakishwar Mahadev, it is Kusha Varth Kunda. So he took his bath there and that from there he get relieved from all the sin. That's why Gautami Ganga is called Godavari. What is the meaning of Godavari? The one who gives life to go, cow. Godavari. Godavari. And then uh, she flows towards Nasik. So all these th uh, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, they were so happy with Gautami that, Aray, aapko koi galti nahi tha. Aapke upar thopa gaya na? There's a conspiracy against you. You had not any fault. You didn't kill cow. She was not cow. She was Jaya made servant of my own wife. But because of your sincerity, your simplicity, and you took the responsibility which you have not done wrong. Still you took the responsibility. And because of you, Ganga Ji came over here. So what blessings, what boon you want? So that time Gautam Rishi, he requested that all you three, Trinity, you please stay here. Anyone who comes, uh, comes here to take the uh, shelter of Bodhavari and have your darshan, please bless them always eternally. And that's why we know uh, Trambakeshwar Mahadev, it's a Trimbak. Three means three, Ambaka means the residence. The residence of Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. Trambakeshwar Shivling, where you see there is no Shivling there, proper. There is a ditch, and that ditch there are three Shilas are there, Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh. And Godavari is flowing below that Shivling and constantly bathing. Early in the morning you see the water is coming out. She is bathing every day, doing Abhishek of this uh, Linga, or these three Shilas, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. Godavari. That Shivlinga is there, so below that Shivlinga Godavari is flows. And she comes on the surface to bathe these three shilas there. So this is the story of Trambakeshwar. So Mahaprabhu also went there. He climbed the mountain, Brahmagiri. He did Kirtan in the temple. Chakra Tirtha. Ah, Chakra Tirtha. Uh, now because Godavari is flowing underground, some says that at the place of Chakra Tirtha, Lord Vishnu, he uh, used his chakra and bring, brought back Godavari on planet Earth. And from there, she flows towards and then go to Bay of Bengal. So, or some say that you know there uh, Lord Mahadev he gifted Chakra to Lord Vishnu. Shudarshan Chakra. That's why that called Chakra. Pita. So both stories are. ये जो गोदावरी गंगा आपने बताया कि जो ये वो गंगा से पहले आई है तो उस टाइम तो सिर्फ तो जटा में गंगा नहीं थी तो भागीरथ जब तब किए हैं सिर्जी का तब वो जटा में नहीं है। हाँ सी गंगा is not we know Milky Way, entire Ganga is you know like a, a huge streak. So now some say you know Ganga is from the water commandolo, water commandolo of Brahmaji. And he bathed with that and that Ganga is there. So Ganga is not limited to you know like one stream. We know Ganga, a fifth kind of you see, she is falling on particular mountain and flowing four directions, one Alaknanda, one Bhagirathi, one like that. So Ganga is a huge, we can't you know by our brain, we can't understand how Ganga flows, where she goes first, uh, from where she flows. So it's beyond our ordinary sensory perception. So exact Ganga's locations. Now say says that you know all the Devatas they took the water of Ganga in their planes and they bring back to Swargaloka. And that's how they have created Ganga there. 
to have the association of Ganga. So Ganga is a, now we know at least we know three Gangas. You know, in heavens Ganga is known as Mandakini Ganga. On planet Earth is a Bhagirathi Ganga, and Nidral land it is known as Bhogavati Ganga. So Ganga flows on all fourteen worlds. So which which time from where she started flowing there? It's entire unique story everywhere. So you can't make it like you know happened this time only or that time only. So we know only one aspect of the story, but it's like. And uh, all these stories we know, these are like area. The, the Puranas are the history of maybe this kalpa, before that kalpa, there are many kalpas of uh, history. So it's not only related to this Chatur Yuga or this Manu or this Manvantar only. No, the story goes to behind that also. <laughs> Yamuna coming from? Yamuna is a uh, hundred times uh, more powerful. Yes. Yeah. Uh, see, uh, if you see as per the scriptural references, uh, Ganga is always considered the first river. We all know that, you know, every day morning we chant the shloka to stop it. Ganga, Shayabune, Shayabha, Godavari, Saraswati. We know every day morning, you know, Jal Sthapan Mantra we chant this. So, first river is always considered Ganga. No doubt about it. But as a Ras, Rastatva, because we love Krishna and Krishna has had performed all the pastimes in Jamuna. So for our nourishment, Ganga is, uh, Jamuna is hundred times more important to us than Ganga. Because we, we want Krishna, na? So those who want Lord Shiva or those who wants to achieve the shelter of Narayan or Vishnu, for them, Jamuna is there, but not of that prime importance. For them, Ganga is important. But for the devotees of Krishna, for us, Jamuna is more important than Ganga. Why? Because we want Krishna. So what does Krishna likes? <laughs> so there is a uh, factual, factual fact, facts and there is a ras. Rasatattva as per Rasatattva, Jamuna for us is hundred thousand times more important than Ganga. But if you go to scriptures, scriptures will always glorify Ganga first. And then Jamuna. They will glorify Jamuna also. But first Ganga. This tree is the original tree. See, banyan tree, what they say is that the banyan tree never dies. It's called Akshay Vatna. Vatna Vriksha, this banyan tree, before death, he leaves, you know, jo, uske jo branches hote, ha. Oh, fir se naya ta, shalo hota. Yeah. Because the Ramayana I heard somewhere, I don't know, that it's not in this Yuga cycle, 24th yeah. Yuga cycle. Yes, many say that Ramayana is not of this Chatur Yuga. But some say that every Chatur Yuga Ram comes. And some say like Krishna comes once day of Brahma, Ram also comes once in a day of Brahma. So they say that this is 24th yeah. cycle. Cycle. I mean that means almost uh, lakhs and lakhs and lakhs of yeah, years. Crore years. Crore, crore years uh, I, I had this uh, discussion with couple of scholars. So some say that Lord Ram came on 24th, 24th Chatur Yuga. In Vyan Samadha Samadha And once in a day of Krishna, uh, Brahma. But some scholars they say that no, Ram came in this Chatur Treta Yuga only. And how come, how, what is the fact for that? Uh, that Krishna, uh, Krishna wanted to display all his pastimes. So, to give this pastimes before that he wanted to settle Lord Ram first. So, Krishna comes in Dwapar Yuga, na? So, he changed the Yuga then, na? First came Treta Yuga. Then came Dwapar Yuga. Ideally, first is Satya Yuga, then Dwapar, then Treta, and then Kalyuga. But this time Krishna changed it because he wanted to come. So he said, Ram, you should first come and then I will come. So basic foundation you create, then I will perform my pastimes to give deeper impact on devotion. So some say like that. So both opinions are there, so we respect both. Some say that every Chatur Yuga, Ram comes. Any outside? That's infinite. 20 lakh years over, but I <laughs> Doesn't matter much. So, the Sita Gupta is like a symbolic. Symbolic, yes. It's not actually. Yes. No one knows actually because Rama is like, you know, which Sita Yuga is debate about. So, they made that place. Yes. Yeah, but of course, that land is the same land where ah. all this pastime. Yeah, my, my doubt was also that the thought is so small. 
It's like a, a, a dharma exhibition people make. Like. So all the best for all of you. Please perform your devotion service very nicely. You are studying in colleges or uh, focus on your studies properly. And in the guidance of Kumar Lila Prabhu, go ahead. In your you can tell something about how you are reading such taste for reading books. <laughs> I was sent <laughs> find difficult to read. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, you are telling me that you are reading. You have read all the books. No, not like in college, you, know, you have read all the books. Sound like that. See, more than reading is service attitude is important. Just you imagine that you are, if you are, if you have dysentery, don't have digestion power, and you are eating malpoa, ramdi, rasgulla, rasmalai, all the mangal box sweets and you know bal box sweets you are eating, will you be able to digest that? You can't digest it. You need first digestion. When you have strong digestion, then whatever you eat, you can digest it. If you have 20% digestion, eat 20%. If you have 40% digestion. So important thing is improve your digestion. As you improve your digestion, your hunger will increase. So same way, reading is very important. This is the part of our now Vida Bhakti. Every day studying Bhagavatam or reading uh, Bhagavad Gita and all the Vaishnava literature. But to digest that is very difficult. And for that we need a genuine service attitude. Without that, reading doesn't... We get information. We may get knowledge, but there is no transformation. In our heart and those are listeners, even them for them also. So it is always combination of you know service attitude and uh, you see Prabhupada, we we have we all have heard lecture of Prabhupada. What he speaks in lecture. So you are not this body or the spirit soul, no sense gratification, please follow four unity principles, chant Hare Krishna. You say, say Prabhupada's lecture, 80% lectures, you can say what Prabhupada is going to say next. But it transformed the whole world. Now we saw in Iskon we have such a elite class of speakers having beautiful, you know, language ability, artist, artistic, you know, presentation with PowerPoints and you know with memories and shlokas, what not. But what impact Prabhupada could create and what impact we preachers are creating? There is no there is no parallel. Why is it so? Because that inner substance. So if you develop that inner substance, then whatever we read of Prabhupada's books, it will touch our heart and we will inspire others also to take the principle. That's what Mahaprabhu wanted. Bharata Bhumita Hela Manashi Janma Yar, Janma Sarthak Kari, Karabharo. So that way I take reading. Okay. Hare Krishna. Kalkata Bhakta Vrinda Ki, Shila Prabhupada Ki. Sitaram Lakshman Haruman Ki Jai Nanga Udavari Maya Ki Jai Nasik Pajodi Dham Ki Jai